I may not ever make it in the real world, but that doesn't mean I can't live out my fantasies in a video game. Today, I am a pro skateboarder. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm still in first person view. I forgot about this. Oh. Ugh. First of all, hello. Welcome back. Pleasure to have you here today. This fine, this fine evening. Look at me, off to a great start. I know what you're all thinking right now, okay? And what I'm about to say is gonna be a little controversial. I need to not skate the courthouse because I, I do the probably the exact same thing in every single video that I start off at the courthouse. I do either a nolly heel, a front blunt, Crook nollie flip or something, so let's switch it up. <sighs> oh god, I feel like I'm about to start this video out on a rant. No one likes rants. Stay hydrated, kids. Ah, a cold glass of ice water hits different, let me tell you. This channel is very interesting for me because a lot of my viewers, I'd say 60% of them, uh, know who I am from my main channel or Instagram or social media or whatever, and then there's a probably like 40% of this channel's audience are new people that have come from only the gaming side of things, which is absolutely amazing to me. And I want to thank each and every one of you that that is new to my channel, so hello. For the 40% of you that don't know who I am, uh, my name is Garrett Jenner. I am a professional skateboarder. And the reason I put it in quotes is because we live in an interesting time where talent and social media influencers, as much as I fucking hate that word, are as similar as they are different. I've been skating in real life for about 16 years. You know, I've put out street parts, sponsor videos. I have sponsors. Thank you to my amazing sponsors. I skate literally every day of my life. I'm always getting Instagram clips or YouTube clips or even just mainly skating for fun lately, um, which is also an amazing feeling. I am pro. I hate that word. I hate the word pro so much. I'm pro for Crux Trucks, meaning I have a pro model Crux Trucks. Now, the reason that it's such a controversial topic, I'd say, is because, you know, flash backward about a year, and what am I doing? Skateboarders and YouTubers don't get along. I will say that now. It, it's, a, it's better now than it used to be. When I first started YouTube, do you know how much hate I was getting for being a skate YouTuber? Like, it, it was insane. When I turned pro for Crux, meaning they, they made a, a truck with my name on it, uh, I, like my, my YouTube audience was super stoked for me and they were super happy and I was super happy And then you have the the core skaters that are like you don't deserve to be pro You're just a whack-ass YouTube skater the industry's gone to shit blah 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 And it's like that's why I say it's controversial I like to think that the standard for being a pro skateboarder is having a deck with your name on it I think that is and has been you know, what what makes you pro or not. I always joke about this, but the, the definition of professional is making money from something. If you can make money from something, you are professional whatever you do. If you make money from skating, you are a professional skateboarder. If you make money from YouTube, you're a professional YouTuber. If you make money from anything, you're a professional at that thing. So by definition, I'm a professional savage. I don't like using the word professional. I don't like using the word amateur. I don't like using the word sponsored. I don't like using the word anything besides skateboarder. I am a skateboarder, period. You know, because that's what I do. That's what I enjoy doing. <laughs> yeah, that's really about it for the, the rant section of the video. Sorry you had to sit through that, but I feel like I had to preface it with that. All of that being said, we're gonna be a pro skateboarder today. And I'm gonna have my name on a board, and it's gonna be a dream come true. You guys might remember the last video I filmed. I was looking through the Discord at the amazing creations that you guys made. I can't- I cannot talk and play this game. I really can't do it. Someone made a professional Arbor Garrett Jenner skateboard, and I want to- I want to skate it today and try to get some clips as if I were a pro skateboarder out in the streets filming for a part. It's a fantasy. I'm living a fantasy. So, we pull open- that's not it. That's a normal Arbor- There it is. It is beautiful. It is my face. That, that picture is from my Instagram in like 2014. My first kickflip on my pro model board. It's gonna feel glorious. Oh, it skates so much better than the other boards. <laughs> Imagine it skates differently. Okay, like I said, I wanna try to get some clips. Like actual, like well filmed, work on my filming too. Start out with something crazy, like a nollie inward heel into that. 
culture. You can make anything look good if you have a good filmer. The filmer is perched up on this, this fence right here, getting the angles. I'm so glad I watched that filming tutorial because it, it like camera zoom is literally everything when you're filming long lens. Look how fast I am with this now. Okay, so we do a starting keyframe. We go right before he pops just enough. Wow, that's a bigger drop than I thought. Okay, he does the trick. We go down to like, go to like there. Zoom out so you can see everything. We can keyframe there. We probably want him to roll out a frame right there. So we zoom into where we want it. Get those, ooh, those Karayuma shoes are looking good. Fast forward a little bit and keyframe. So what, one, two, three, four keyframes is it. Le piece de resistance right here. Pushes in. Ooh, yep. Yep. Very simple. That was one of my shittier clips, to be honest, but I was, <laughs> I was trying to show off how fast I could do it. Dude, that is, I did not think it was that big. Ooh. Little bit of camera rotation there. You can see it. Then the slow pan. Hey! God damn it. But yeah, that's the, the first clip to our part. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What are we working with here? Gotta get a UC Davis Gap clip. If I'm, if I'm pro, we gotta be skating pro spots. I gotta hit some sort of NBD down there, something that's never been done before. Oh wait, I got a better idea. I gotta do that and then a trick off the curb for extra style points. Boom. Unfortunate. Boom. Oh, that's about as hard as it'd be in real life. This is the second video I filmed today, so we just have a, it was a Karen compilation behind me. I don't know if it turned into like fights or whatever, but top comment on this video. Uh, it goes in the back of the next video I film. You know, these pro clips don't come easy. We gotta fight for what we have. Damn it, that was bad. Maybe a big spin is a little bit too unrealistic. Let's just do that. Perfect. Maybe just the, the nollie backside flip and a switch back with 80. That, that could work. Here's what I envision for this clip. This, this would actually be the opener for my my street part or my, my pro part, actually. That's what this is gonna be. There'd be two angles, one fisheye, one long length. The fisheye would come first because people would see that and be like, holy shit, who's this Garrett Jiner kid? First impressions are everything, you know? Keyframe, 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 keyframe. The opening clip for my pro part. Ready? Here it is. <laughs> It fades to, to black. It says, Garrett Jenner. Pro. <laughs> I don't know. Let me just show you what I have in mind. Give me like 10 minutes. Something like that. That's what I had in mind. <laughs> Let's try to get like some creative stuff, like some some quick footed something. Let's set a switch session marker. Oh, maybe like let's see if this could work. Manual. Yeah, hold on. This we're onto something. This is hard. Uh. Does that count as a hippie jump? <laughs> I don't think it does really not working I just credit carded myself we need to alter the stats menu sometimes you got to change some stuff for certain obstacles let's bump up the manual pop for us I don't know how much this actually changes it a little bit more I kind of adjust the stats menu depending on whatever I'm skating you know, like whatever, whatever I can make, I can't do anything. Whatever I can make look the most realistic are the stats many that I choose. I'm just not popping high enough. Pop earlier? Oh, okay. Yeah, that was the problem. Let's bring that down a little bit now. Would that work? I popped it. Let me see if I popped it too high. No, that actually worked. Yeah, it's got a good ass pop. Something like this. Yep. 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 Stacking clips out here in the streets, baby. I've noticed now with my filming is, cause before it was just all trash. Before I was just very, very, very bad at filming. And now it's like, I have good parts. Like I, I can see like right here, that just that part of it. I really like how that looks. I think it looks really real. And then the beginning of it and the end of it 
I need work. So it's like it, it is slow improvement, but it's it's improvement. Um, what could we do with this? Too big to do anything real besides like a front board would be insane. Could we just pop on and grind. <laughs> I think I gotta go faster. Come on. I gotta go faster. I think if this was real, I think I'd gap to flat on the first one like that. But then I stop and I don't know how to not do that. This is one of those clips that I think I, I did as good as I can do, but it's just like the realism wasn't there just based on the trick because I was going so slow. Practice makes better. All right, all right, all right. What else can we do around here? We got to get a manual trick, maybe even a line, huh? I've always wanted to learn. Well, I can't even do it in a video game. That, but onto something. That would be such a sick clip. And I clipped that. It's the, that trick's just super awkward in real life because you're literally going completely blind to it. Like exactly where he's looking right now is where you actually look in real life. You're flying backwards towards something and you have to somehow land in a manual. And then fake you big flip off would just be insane. Doable, but insane. Damn, I kind of I kind of like manual tricks. I haven't done manual tricks in a while because I usually suck at them like that Manual tricks are really hard for me because I play Realistic manual catch so I got a flick cat. Oh, no I've been playing Without the overlay This whole time. I'm sorry. I just realized that the entire last video I filmed didn't have it either. That's unfortunate. If you watch my fingers, I have to pop, flick, catch, and get into the manual all within, what, an eighth of a second? I, that should be a manual. Oh, now it is. Come on! Come on! Come on me! What? There it is. Fakey bigger flip out. To switch track. I keep clipping that stair set. I'm, I'm pro. I can do whatever I want. Um, but, um, it's getting hot in my room and I'm sweating. Oh, I think this is based on a real spot. I think I've seen people skate this. I'm trying to think like realistic tricks here. Like what I would do if I could do or what a real pro would do. And I would think back Smith would be really sick. Oh, I forgot to turn my pop force down. Boom. So we got to get it in. Okay, yes, we gotta pop out early. That adds the difficulty here. Clearly. Dude, this is just like real skating. I can get into it once, I can do the trick once, and I can't do it again. God, stop that! There it is. I don't care about that. This is how I envision it. Long lens for sure. Slow-mo right. Oh, what? I glitched when I popped. I didn't notice it until just now. You get the point though. In there, regular speed, slow-mo, boom, regular speed again. Something like that. I'll get like one more trick and then call it a day. Been filming for an hour. This keyframing takes a while. I smell a combo. And it wasn't that. Maybe like, I'm bad. I'm bad. I will say it, I'm bad. I'm, st I'm, I'm doing bad things. I have an idea. I want to do a trick. I did it in the, in my erase part. And it's the only time I've ever done it in real life. And it was the forward slide to crook. And I know this is a ledge and I know I can't do it, but I'm going to do it. I just got anally violated. I'm going to make sure. Come on, get into a board slide. <sighs> One more try. Famous last words. One more try. That's not even a grind, you stupid idiot. I don't care. Counts. Cool. Great. I'm a shitty pro skater, okay? <laughs> All right. That's it. I thought this could be kind of a, a cool opportunity to work on my my filming because eventually I do want to put out a a street part, a skater XL street part. I just I, I'm not worthy yet. Clearly, each time I practice my filming, we're slowly working towards it, and and we're we're getting there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I'm sorry. I, I hope I can do better next time, and I, I'm sorry for letting you down. I'm disappointing you. I know you came here for entertainment, and if I, I couldn't offer that to you, then 
you know, that's really all I was set out on this earth to do, and I feel really bad about it. So I, I genuinely apologize from the bottom of my heart, and I hope I can do better next time. I'm always working to improve myself, so let me know what I can do differently. And if you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Yeah. For real, love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a new video. Peace out. Can't stop till I got a quarter million on the wrist.